Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Rob Dew, and today's date is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2013, and here's a look at some of our top stories. Tonight, Ron Paul blasts the internet sales tax, and Dung Beetle knew that Tamerlan Zarnov went to Russia. Why didn't the FBI? And finally, with Boston under martial law, Americans cheer for their enslavement. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. One of the biggest and most unreported stories of this Boston bombing scare is not the fact that they knew who these guys were, the FBI, that they knew they were traveling out of the country under assumed aliases, that they had been tracking them, that they had interviewed him, that there were drills going on. And we have eyewitnesses saying that, no. What is the biggest story? The biggest story is that our streets, the, well, the streets of Boston were locked down. It was put under martial law, and it was done that, it was done like that on purpose to get people conditioned to where anytime there's a crisis, we will send cops in and we will send people in to kick people out of their homes at gunpoint and they'll go through their belongings without due process, violating the Fourth Amendment. Here's the article. Shocking footage. Americans ordered out of homes at gunpoint by SWAT teams. This is from Steve Watson, April 22nd, and it is an amazing collection of pictures, that being one of them right there where you have a guy coming out of a tank turret pointing a gun at somebody inside of a window. Shocking footage has emerged from Friday's lockdown in Boston where federal uh, police and National Guard troops and SWAT teams enforced door-to-door -door searches of everyone's home within 20 blocks as an entire city was placed under the orders to stay off the street. Here's a note from Alex Jones. Even though we've seen countless instances of lone gunmen on the streets, we've never seen an entire city locked down as we witnessed last week in Boston and its suburbs. This is the definition of martial law is when due process is suspended and Americans are under military rule. And there's some video right there of them banging on people's doors, treating everyone as a criminal, and kicking people out at gunpoint, telling them to break, get their hands up. Get your hands up, boy. You see that? Get your hands up, slave. That's what they're telling these people. And it's over and over again. And they broadcast these images to the people over and over again so they get conditioned. So they, they think that anytime something happens like this, we should have cops streaming everywhere, bugging their eyes out at people, yelling at people, pointing guns at them. That's supposed to be the new America. When we know for a fact that these guys were, if nothing else, agent provocateurs, financed through, via the CIA through sleeper cells. This thing stinks to high heaven, these two brothers, supposedly these horrible, horrible terrorists. And there's some of the photos right there. But there is one photo that we didn't put in this article, and it's, it's one that went around on Facebook. It's one of the less publicized impressions from yesterday's standoff. A family with young children in Watertown was out of milk during the lockdown. And there he is. There's the guy bringing him milk. Because the state is the one who gives you milk. They provide you milk. Not, it's not the fact that they were locked out from going outside. They were locked in their homes. It's not the fact that they couldn't leave if they tried to go outside for a cigarette or to bring their kids out uh, to play on a playground. It has nothing to do with that. It's, no, the state is going to bring you your milk because we're here to help. That's what it's all about. It's all about that impression going over and over and over again. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.